time to start off, everybody. First of all, thanks for coming to the semester's first virtual simulation lab seminar. Uh, today we're going to have a, a <coughs> talk on revision control with GET, um, given by Anders Lavik here from the Department of Chemistry. And um, if you saw the cartoon that Anders put up at the beginning, I'm sure many of us have all been in that situation where we have 50 different revisions of the same document, and it's quite difficult to keep things in order. So, Anders will talk about Git, which is a tool that we use to keep all our revisions of certain documents, especially programs and things in order. So why are we doing this? Um, again, this is the only time I'll give the lecture this semester, even if I did it last spring twice. Um, when you're working in modeling and simulation, there's a small gap between your academic experience that uh, you would have if you worked in the laboratory. The laboratory, the inherent nature of that environment, gets people all to come together to a single place. The people working in the lab, they get to know each other, they work together, they teach each other things, and they learn from each other. Yeah? And you know, even for a piece of lab equipment, they have a yellow card above it. And it says a person responsible. If you have questions, go talk to them about it. They can show you how to use it and things like that. So, for modeling and simulation, though, it's a different story. We spend most of our time in the office, sitting in front of the computer, yeah? The work we do is mostly our own, yeah? And we don't get to go into a similar environment with other students doing that kind of work that we do uh, on the computer, and we don't get to talk and interact as much, yeah? So you're mostly working alone at the computer, we learn the new techniques on our own from, from the web, forums, help files, things like that. But we may or may not effectively pass it on to other students. And that's one of the key points here, is that we work hard on the computer. We, we do things that we ourselves think is clever. But then, you know, you go to the project meeting, you go to the conference. Nobody wants to hear about the clever things you do on the computer. They just want to see the results, right? Well, here, you can... If you've got something clever that you think you've done, you can share it with other students, you can teach them, and they can learn from you. And also, in here we get to see each other's faces, we all know who's kind of working on the modeling and simulation. Afterwards, we're gonna eat some pizza and stuff, and, and, and have some drinks, and uh, soft drinks, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, still, you know, we can get to know each other and, and maybe to develop networks where, you know, oh, I know this guy or this girl, and maybe she can help me with the problem call them up, send them out. It just break down barriers, break the ice. So that's what, uh, that's what we're really trying to do. Because you know, within each and every one of you, there's a wealth of knowledge that's scattered among you. So the idea of this, this thing is to sort of bring it all together and uh, keep, keep it in a place where you can access it and sort of have people you can turn to to help for different things. How does this work? Well, there's basically three things we have, or two, two major things that is important to you guys. We have our seminars, which we advertise, and we talk about different things, a lot of, a lot of making advanced graphics and things. Um, we can talk about more detailed stuff about code, coding, uh, using computational in infrastructure at NTNU. Um, concepts and software development and so on. So lots of things that we would deal with on an everyday basis, but things that nobody wants to hear about again at the conferences or at the, at the, at the project meetings. And then we've built a website. It's still sort of in a rudimentary form, but it's, it's getting there and we're adding things to it every day. Um, this is the address if you want to go to it. And we'll do all our seminar announcements there, and we'll give you background information, like if you want to, today Anders, he, if you, he gave you instructions on how to install Git, so if you went to our website, you could have seen that and installed things. You can follow along with him in his lecture today if, you, if, you, if you've done that. Um, and also, you can see Eirik here from the multimedia department is recording everything. So we're also going to put links to the, to the seminars up there, so if you miss it or anything like that, you can come and watch it. And see it, yeah? And then, like I mentioned those yellow cards before, um, the people who give the seminars, in this case Anders forget, they will sort of act as a person responsible that if you have 
a question or something simple to ask him, maybe you can just send him a quick mail and he can direct you to something. But again, we don't want to make our uh, presenters overwhelmed with the work they do here. They're quite already put in a, a, a bit of effort and time to make the lectures and, and, and go over them with us. So we don't want to overwhelm them, so don't overuse them too much. But it, definitely, if you have a question or something like that, just give them a, give them a shout. Everything like that. So that's basically it. So what is the outcome? Well, hopefully you guys will get a broader education. You'll at least be familiar with more tools, more, more, more software, and more types of coding, more, more scripts that you can use when you go out and leave the university and start your careers. Uh, hopefully we can improve the quality of our reports, our figures, our deliverables to in industry through this, make better codes, whatever. And uh, build the social network. Get to know each other, get out of our offices, get away from the computers, and, and see who's out there doing the same kind of stuff we are. So if you like this and you, you think that you know, this is a good idea, the requirements are just that we have a steady stream of lecture seminars. Yeah? So if you guys have good ideas, let us know. Yeah? And then uh, participation in seminars is also really important. Um, you can, again, find out about the seminars at our website. Uh, we have a Facebook page. If, you, if anybody's on Facebook, go there, give us a like, and then uh, all the lectures we have will also be scheduled. You can say if you want to come. That will help us plan how much food to order and stuff like that. Um, our goal is to get 50 likes. We're at 25 right now, so if you have a Facebook account, go there and, and, and give us a few likes. Um, Twitter, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we do or maybe we don't. I, I don't have a Twitter account. I have to admit. And then we have the evaluation forms because, you know, we're sort of going on the wing here. So your feedback is important to us. So we, you fill out these forms. We take, it, we take it seriously. We consider it seriously. And we try, based on what you tell us in the feedback forms, to sort of mold these seminars and the website to what, what you guys think is you would like to see or what you think is working and what's not working. So please, we've left the, the forms there. We have some pens scattered around. If you don't have any pens, there's a, a cup there and a cup in the back. So just please fill out a form and, and uh, give it to me at the end and we'll take your, your, your feedback into consideration and try to get you the topics that you want to see. Okay? So I guess I spoke enough. There's one, there's the next seminar. The seminars are every two weeks this semester. Next one will be 24th of September. And this will be Sigva Karolius from the IKP. And he'll be talking about Markdown and Pandoc. So that should be interesting to see. So, okay guys, without any further ado, I give you honors.